Hi guys and welcome back, we're here with another Game of Thrones battle and I'd just like to look at these uh, Manderly soldiers before we start but look at their helmet, that looks god damn awesome I was about to say awful but it's, that's not the truth can't see their eyes, this guy's uh, he's not going to be very useful in battle same with these ones, what's going on? they all got their eyes shut or something? I think they're all like blinking oh that's actually really creepy I have paused it so they're like all blinking at the same time what a weird ugh, getting out of that quickly but yeah, they look really, really cool. So, um, we are here with another, um, battle with the North. And um, we have one, two, three, Stark Guardsmen. All of these, uh, infantry are Guardsmen. Um, they have got Man House Mandley, House Hornwood, House Mormont. And we've got House, uh, Car Stark with its Guardsmen Pikes. Yeah, these are all Guardsmen Melee. I forget I forget that you have guardsmen like spears and some melee and some pikes. We have guardsmen longbows, we have three of them from House Stark. Then we have the cavalry from House Stark and we have Davos. Oh Davos is on foot this time. Ooh. I might need to move him then. I thought he was on I thought he was um I thought he was uh, on horse like he was with uh in the Baratheon battle. And then we have heavy cavalry here. And we have John Snow, obviously. There he is. John Snow. That that's possibly the one that looks mm, it looks a bit like him, but No, that looks very much not like him, <laughs> actually. But we are against the army of the undead uh today. Since since the Battle of Winterfell, when this uh, video comes out, the Battle of Winterfell uh episode will be the next episode, I imagine, of Game of Thrones. It looks like that from the uh from the trailer that's been done so it's quite appropriate I thought for us to do this battle and we could do a prediction for what's going to happen in the Battle of Winterfell I was going to do a siege like version of this but it looks like the like the armies of the living are going to meet the armies of the dead outside of Winterfell um, at, again looking at the trailer I could be wrong I could all be wrong and this could all be just a waste of, of air of breath I could be saying. But anyway, we will move up the, the forces. I'm going to take this hill. Um, and we'll fight up here on this nice plateau. What's going on? Um, I am going to... Put... You more like that. You guys more like... So... If Davos is on foot, I will put him now in like reserve here. Oh, it's kind of scary knowing that the army of the dead's coming. Oh, they are not going to reach in time at these guardsmen. These guardsmen are not going to reach. Oh my god, they are really quick. And these um and the thing about these um of the army of the undead uh, and the archers aren't going to reach either just start shooting from there is that um, they, d they do not break they do not break I'm also going to pull this cavalry out wide out here see if we can drag some units away yeah we actually are dragging the army of the undead away stupid so um right this is going to be a really um, Pikes, you might need to go and support. Oh god, Mandley troops are out of position. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Karstarks, you're going to be needed over here. And you're just about getting out in time. Jon Snow can come around here. I will get some uh, close-ups in a minute. Oh my god. Go in, Mandleys. Davos, you need to go in. Um, what have we got? House Hornwood here is... Okay, more Mont needs help. Um, yeah, w this is not looking good for the li the Army of the Living. So we'll have some, uh, we'll have some close-ups quickly. Look at, look at these guys. They are very much dead. There are, unfortunately, no White Walkers and no... Uh, and no... Um, no dragons, obviously. It'd be very hard to, uh... Um, can you go in properly and support? So 
so we've got to kill all of these guys. Every single last one of them. I'm going to aim at you there. You've got to aim at all of them back there. And I want you aiming at also all of them back there. There's so many. Good charge there by the cavalry. Let's have a quick look. I'm, I'm not really that bored about how the battle turns out. I just kind of want to show off the uh, the army of the undead, really. I don't know how they're bleeding, but they are. That's the... <laughs> like, there shouldn't be blood coming out there. You should just, you should just die. Oh, our men flee the field of battle. Who's fleeing? Who's fleeing? Oh, Mormon. Oh, yeah, this flank is looking a bit... A bit dubious right now. Go up for another charge. You're in there. Where's the other cavalry in there? Hold you in. And then turn around. You can go and support Mormon. Oh, and they've got whites around behind now attacking here. <laughs> Two whole whites. Um... You might as well stand and fight these guys. Just, just do it. Just attack these guys. Oh, we won here. Excellent. I did not expect us to win. Because, like, none of these guys break. So why would they? Um, okay, yep. Yeah, you're going to be needed places. Car Starks over there. Um... You engage them, and you go over there. Jon Snow needs help. Men. Living, living men. Who's fleeing now? Um, you stop doing that and start shooting again. At the... This is our proclaimed Night, Night King, who's just a... He's just a... a white horde. Jon Snow needs to come out. So do that. Some excellent, excellent shots here. Just admiring the battlefield. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, cut them down. Cut down the, li the dead. The living must endure. Oop, my apologies. That was not the right button. <laughs> Anyway, we'll keep looking on. Keep fighting on men. Okay, keep killing these guys. Keep killing them. Oh, they go out of control like elephants, almost. Um, can you kill guys? Just finish these guys off. It is now, yeah. So maybe, maybe the living are got going to win. I mean, they've got to surely if they've got to fight Cersei still. Um, no, keep fighting there. Actually, oh. Oh, look at this charge. Oh, that's an epic charge. Epic charge. Go on, Jon Snow. Run down these whites. The final ones. You guys all, all won. Very nice. So just down. Oh no, we've got a few left. Not many though. Turn around and finish them. You're all, you've killed everyone. It is just down to these. So the army of the living is going to win. It would seem. I'm very surprised because like these guys can't break. So, and they outnumbered. I'm pretty sure they outnumbered me. 
So numbers wise I would have thought they would have just look at them. They're all just in there. They're not even... Maybe they are... I don't know. I don't think they could break, but it looks like they are breaking. No? No, they just don't... They just don't know who to attack. Oh, no. You don't need to fire. Hold your fire. There we go. And victory. Just like that. Excellent. Living... The living live on. So we will uh, quickly look at the end match results. 435 kills for Jon Snow. Ridiculous. And then the House Manly Guardsmen did really well. I was, They looked good and they did and they fought well. Um, House Mormont with uh, Lyanna Mormont's few men that turned up. Uh, they did fairly well. They did alright. The House uh, Stark Guardsmen did very well and the Archers did okay. There wasn't much for them to aim at. Calvary did excellent. Calvary against the Army of the Dead seemed to be the way to do it. So, for Season 8, and um, when they're fighting there, they better have some Calvary going around, riding down those uh, undead. And House uh, Hornwood did fairly well as well. No House Glover, obviously, because House Glover didn't turn up. I was I did should have mentioned that. House Glover didn't turn up uh, and said he was going to stay in Deepwood Mott in e Episode 1. Sorry for spoilers if you haven't watched, by the way, guys. Um, I should have possibly said that, but I'll probably put, like, in the description of put like someone saying spoilers will be in this episode so if you decided to watch it's your own fault and also house umber because uh, they had a untimely fate which i will i will leave that like that just just to stop any more spoilers basically but um yeah most of these uh army of the undead did okay they were fairly average but uh but yeah not nothing too bad there. So I mean, yeah, losses. They lost basically their entire Met army. I lost about half, which is not surprising. I'm quite surprised it wasn't um, more, to be honest. But um, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and until the next one, I will see you guys later.